Hey, how's it going? My name's Josh, and today I want to talk about how to get rid of cellulite as a man. Now, not there's, I know there's not much content floating around on the internet about how men can get rid of cellulite, because typically this is a problem that's experienced by women around the world. Now, all it takes is a quick glance on Google or Wikipedia to find out about cellulite. So I'm not gonna read through the whole description, but basically the last sentence here is cellulite occurs in most post-pubescent females. So if you're a man suffering from cellulite, it might be a bit embarrassing to hear that, but rest assured you're not the only person. Like me personally, if I let myself get sloppy, if I let my diet get sloppy in my exercise, then I experience the same thing. So today I wanna to delve into how you can deal with it. Now essentially all cellulite is, especially as a man, if you're suffering from cellulite, this is likely due to you suffering from a condition called steatopegia, which basically is a genetic condition which causes you to store excess, excess fat in your glutes, possibly your thighs as well. And if you've grown up with this condition or if you've been living with this for a while, you might be a little bit embarrassed or ashamed of your body and how it looks. But hopefully, you know, rest assured it's a genetic issue, but you can solve it as well. So essentially the reason you're experiencing this is basically you just have too much fat stored in that area. You've just got too much and you just need to reduce your body fat levels. And this could be a blessing. Having this cellulite is like a warning sign because if you've got too much body fat on your body, this can be a sign of ill health and it could lead to really serious issues down the line. For example, diabetes, heart disease, stroke, all the really bad stuff that happens when you have too much body fat on your body, essentially. So. If you're ashamed of it, see it as a positive, see it as a warning sign that you should now take the steps to get rid of it. Now, as a man, if you experience this, luckily you can hide it. Generally, when women have this issue, it can be a bit more embarrassing for them. For example, if they wear tight clothes, if they wear leggings, for example, to the gym, or if they do yoga or go out and about, or if they're wearing a bikini or a thong, it can be impossible to hide it. Whereas as a man, you can wear jeans, shorts, you can hide it. But essentially, if you're, let's say you're with a partner and you're, she's seeing your whole body, you might be really ashamed of having this. And, and rest assured, there are ways to obviously deal with this. So as I was touching on, you've just got too much excess body fat. So the best way to get rid of this is diets. That's the first thing you wanna start with. So you wanna really take a hard look on your diet see what's going into your body, which you'll see what foods you're putting into your body every day. So the first step you wanna do is you wanna reduce added, added sugars. So for example, if you're going to Starbucks um, or if you're making tea and coffee at home, stop adding the extra sugar, cut out the sodas, cut out the biscuits, cakes, all the things you know are bad for you. Cut out the fast food, cut out, you wanna cut out everything processed basically. So you wanna start having wholesome, nutritious foods that you can essentially harvest and hunt yourself, basically. So for example, sweet potatoes are really good uh, if you wanna have carbs and, you know, for example, simple meat or fish, which comes fresh, not the ones that in a can that's processed, for example. So not, for example, hot dogs or, or burger meat or things that are processed basically. Um, that's a great start. Um, and also if you wanna take, take this to another level, you can think about, maybe consider dropping carbs in general. So you can consider going for more of a diet based on fats and proteins. So this way it's gonna encourage your body to, to start using, using your existing body fat as fuel versus relying on using carbohydrates as fuel. So to encourage your body to start using up and get, getting rid of the excess body fat that's stored around your body. So what's gonna be really important as well with diet, you need to, I would encourage you to be aware of your calorie intake so you're not overeating because for as long as you're overeating, you're gonna be encouraging your body to store the excess calories. So you wanna kind of be on a deficit to force your body to use up the excess calories on your body to burn off and use as fuel instead of putting more and more food into your body. 
What's going to be really important as well is obviously exercise. So specifically cardio to get rid, to start using your body fat as fuel, basically. Um, so there's lots of different types of cardio you might enjoy. So for example, sports are a really good form of cardio. So if you enjoy playing football, basketball with friends, tennis, that's going to get you moving and your heart rate up, by all means, just stick to that and just do it more regularly. Alternatively, if that's not so much of an option, you might want to do some more, uh, some cardio by yourself, for example. So you might go on a treadmill, you might do some HIIT training. So HIIT training is basically where you do short bursts of high intense activity, aerobic activity or cardio activity followed by a rest period. So for example, you might do sprints for 30 seconds, then rest for 30 seconds and then repeat. Or if you're outside and you're on the street, you might run to the first lamppost, walk to the next one, sprint to the next one, and repeat, if that makes sense. Um, so you're alternating the high intensity from the low intensity T to recover. And the beautiful thing about HIIT training is that you can essentially get the same results as traditional long steady state cardio. So if you're swimming or, or jogging for let's say an hour, you can get the same results in half the time. And also studies show that you can burn fat and calories up to 36 hours after the workout in like an afterburn effect. So that's really effective. The thing is that could be a bit more taxing on your body, it could be a bit more challenging. So if that's too hard, you can maybe go for the low intensity, steady state cardio. So for example, where you are jogging or, or, or doing a light run for 45 minutes to an hour. Alternatively, what you can do is you can go for uh, a walk on a treadmill or a walk up a hill. Something with an incline and just go for a steady, like a, a brisk walk uh, to get your heart rate up. So get your heart rate up, anything between 120 to 150, 160 beats per minute just to get your heart rate up. So you're a little bit out of breath, but you can still talk at the same time. That would be really good. You do that three, four times a week. You're going to watch your body fat levels reduce and you're going to see that cellulite start to disappear. And yeah, that's just the name of the game. Just burn that body fat, um, start getting rid of it. Doing some resistance training will help as well just to tighten up the body. So for example, squats and deadlifts, you should be on a full body exercise program as well. And that's gonna really help uh, further consolidate your progress and get you to become cellulite free because it isn't embarrassing as a man to have it. Um, but obviously take the steps from today, you can get rid of that and you can get your body looking firmer and tighter uh, just how you like it. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think, uh, your feedback. Um, let me know if you're suffering from steatopegia or cellulite and how you've been finding it. If you found this video useful, please subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one.